What's up, pranksters? Welcome back, and welcome back to Cinex TV. I want to apologize because I have not been on here for almost a year, guys. That's right, I've been gone for almost a year. I haven't uploaded in almost a year, and I want to apologize for that. And I want to let you guys know that I'm back and that I'll be uploading more regularly. So I hope you guys are still subscribed to this channel with your bell notifications turned on because I will be coming at you with more videos and more fun stuff. So if you haven't yet, subscribe to this channel and turn on those bell notifications. As far as this video, I'm gonna show you guys five cool ways where you guys can hide your valuables at home, at school, or anywhere using simple everyday supplies. So if you guys are excited about that, hit that thumbs up button and check it out. money it's cash I know it's not a lot but I want to protect it I want people to stay away from my money I want people to stop stealing from me and if I live in a household where there's a lot of people there's a lot of busy hands going around stealing money well I want to protect my money so in this video I'm gonna show you guys five ways to keep your money away from people so for this first one we're gonna open up this stick of deodorant and we're gonna twist the bottom till the top comes out which is just the bar of deodorant. We're gonna pull it out, and as you guys can see inside, there's a lot of room where we can put our money in. So I'm gonna take, for example, this $100 bill. I'm gonna fold it in half, and then fold it in half again, like this, and then I'm gonna slide it in, and then put the bar of deodorant back where it goes, and screw it, so basically turn the opposite direction, and that's it. Put the cap back on, and nobody will suspect the thing. Nobody will know that there's a $100 bill inside a deodorant stick. For this jar of peanut butter, you probably are thinking, next, are you gonna put that money inside the jar of peanut butter? And the answer is, no, we're not. Actually, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna peel off the label, and not completely off, just so that the jar is exposed, and we're gonna take this $50 bill, yeah, it's a 50. We're gonna fold it in half, horizontally, of course, just as I'm doing so right now. And then, once the label is undone, we're gonna place it along the label, so it's parallel with it. And we're gonna be rolling the $50 bill along with the label till it meets up the other end, and then it should have enough residue to stick back on there. And <laughs> that's it guys. Look, nobody will be able to tell that there's a $50 bill underneath this label. And that's it guys. Well now we got this dollar bill, and this dollar bill is gonna go inside this stick of glue. So basically what we're gonna do is the same method that we used for the stick of deodorant. We're gonna twist the bottom till the glue stick comes out, just like this. It might get messy in there, but that's okay guys, it's worth it. So what I just did is folded it three times, and then I'm just gonna put it inside the glue stick, like this. It might get crushed just a little. Now, as far as the glue guys, we're gonna have to sacrifice it. What I'm gonna do is pretty much cut it completely off. Cuts like butter, just like that. And then I'm gonna twist it back on, just like this. So, twist the bottom, and then put the cap back on. This first three ideas, your money's right there. For example, the peanut butter. Let's say I need the $50 bill. All I gotta do is peel back the label, and there's my $50 bill. Well, what about if I need the $100 bill? Well, <clears throat> same thing. We're gonna get it by untwisting the bottom, removing the bar of deodorant, digging in there, and yep, there's my $100 bill. It's gonna smell good though. It's gonna smell delicious. Now it's time to get our dollar bill from our glue stick. Well, same thing. We're gonna undo the bottom, and <laughs> pull out our dollar bill. There it is. So those are some household items that where you can easily store your money. Another item that you would normally find in any household is this scooper right here. So if you look in any closet, you'll probably find one of these. Now what you can do with this is you can unscrew the stick 
like I'm doing so right now, and most of them are hollow inside. The other end is also hollow. See? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna store our money inside. I'm gonna roll up my money so that I can stick it inside the stick. All rolled up, I'm gonna push it inside the stick. Nobody will know it's there. And then I'm gonna twist the stick back on. And that's it, pranksters, look at that. People will be using this day and night, not knowing that they're not just sweeping trash. There's actually money right there. They'll never know, and only you'll know. So when you need your money, all you guys gotta do is untwist the stick and pull out your dollars. Just like that. Safe and sound. Here's another awesome spot where you guys can hide your money. Not inside a drawer, but underneath a drawer, because nobody really looks underneath. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our money, for example, this $100 bill. So one piece of tape on each side of the bill. It's gonna be flat underneath the drawer. So I'm gonna take it and stick it on like this. It's the simplest thing ever. Look at that. And that's it guys, look. Nobody will know it's underneath the drawer. See? And then people will push the drawer in. And now, in and now, and the money will be right there, safe. This method is for those of you that are looking to store your money temporarily, not necessarily like you wanna keep it there long term, but let's say for a couple of days you wanna hide your money. Well, the bottom of a drawer is the best place. Just get some tape and stick it on. So I hope these ideas come in handy. They're very simple, anybody can do them. Hopefully that person that you're trying to hide your valuables from didn't watch this video because they obviously they might know where you're keeping your stuff. Anyway guys, I hope you gave this video a thumbs up and you guys are subscribed to this channel. I'll see you pranksters in my next video.